right guys, so today we got an exciting video. Tonight we got a dumping of snow, absolute crazy amount of snow. So we're gonna go do some door knocking for people whose driveways aren't finished and we're just gonna ballpark it. We'll try and get some money out of this experience. All I need is two shovels. And if those two shovels can generate a couple hundred bucks today. So we're gonna see how much money we can actually generate. Thanks so much to Will and his dad. Let me borrow his shovels. Let's get after the video. We're just finishing up now. Yeah. It's a long driveway. As you can see behind me, it took me about an hour and a half. On the next. Look at my hair. Oh my goodness. So we had 12 no's, then we finally, on the 13th try, we got a yes, we got paid cash. You just gotta keep fighting the good fight. You know, it's a grind, and we're gonna have to. There's a cop that was right there, and he, I think he saw me recording, so I'm gonna put the camera down. I've never been so excited in my life to make $40. So it took almost two hours to get one yes. You just gotta keep grinding, 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 grinding. Guys, we did it, we made 40 bucks. Let's go! Today, I'm gonna be doing some cold calling. You know, I don't have any business, so we gotta generate some interest in the company. I'm gonna be doing as many calls as possible. I wrote a list here, found out that bicycle places, car mechanics, and repair shops, and that kind of stuff, they have lots of cardboard parts that are broken. They're gonna have a lot of crap that they need to get rid of. And if they have dumpsters and that kind of stuff, maybe I could even take, you know, that off their hands. Instead of them getting a dumpster, I just come pick up all the material and everything. So I'm gonna be calling all of these bicycle shops today and just trying to get a feel for if there's a need for the company. Then I just want to get and secure their email. So once I get all their emails, try and generate some buzz that maybe, you know, two to three weeks, we're gonna see if people are interested. Today's Friday, the best day to do cold calls because everyone's so happy that it's the weekend. The weekend is their everything. I'm gonna fire off some calls. I don't have a script built out, but we're just gonna kind of wing it. Let's go. Hey, how's it going? This is Kyle Moore calling. I was just wondering if you could give me a quick call back here. My number is... Whenever you're leaving a voicemail, you don't want to give them too much information because you want them to call you back. If I say, my name's Kyle, I'm calling from Clear Co. I'm a junk removal service. One, I've already said way too much. Two, you just want them to call you back because then you can start somewhat selling on the phone. So if you can do that, I mean, you are set. So there's the first voicemail of the day. Within eight calls, we got seven emails, one voicemail, and one hot lead. I'm thinking that's pretty good. The business cards are in, the flyers are in. So now there's no excuses. Next week I know all I'm doing is literally door knocking, canvassing, and getting out to as many people as possible. The more hands you shake, the more money you make. Guess where we went and snowplowed that lady's driveway. She had a couple of referrals for me and then she's gonna reach out to them. We'll see if it, if it pans out, but if not, just the fact that I asked if she knows anyone, she was willing to give me up contacts. And through there, you ask them for referrals and you just keep going, 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 just grind. I'm just leaving the printing house right now. It's so loud. We got the cards here. We got the flyers in the box. Let's go, baby. We have 500 flyers. I'm gonna try and aim for 50 to 60 flyers a day so that I get rid of almost all of them by next week. I'm gonna go on a bunch of businesses, a bunch of commercial areas, and just see if there's anyone interested in getting junk removal done. We don't really have any clients yet, but we're gonna grind and we're gonna find some. All right, guys, so I just got home now. We're gonna be doing the unboxing. Business cards and flyers. The business cards are in. Let's go. This makes your business more legitimate. People ask all the time, oh, do you got a business card? Here's the business cards. We're gonna open them up and see them for the first time ever. Woo, this is sick. This is so cool. So they're yellow. They have my logo, which is in the truck. So they're just pretty like normal stock. You know, I mean, I didn't really need to go crazy on them. Now off to the flyers. Oh! These flyers are massive. I was expecting them to be a lot smaller. I didn't realize they're gonna be this big. I like them. I think they're awesome. I think they're dope. Like, look at this. I just don't know if like, you know, people are gonna wanna have a big flyer like this. I could even cut out this part of them, just give those, but then I wouldn't have like my information stuff. So this is basically like, I'm gonna go around Toronto with all of these. I have like a backpack that I'll throw them all in and just hand them out, hand them out, hand them out. Just grind, 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 grind. Overall, I'm pretty happy with, with it. I wasn't expecting how big they were. It's part of running a business. I'm not gonna return them. I'm happy. Yeah, I just gotta pick neighborhoods that I think, you know, would be good and suited and then we'll just go and grab from there. Thanks guys for following along in the journey.
Tell me 